what's happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah today we got another huge up as you know i have a secret service whistleblower exposing the dark truth about trump assassinations guys i'm excited to check this out see exactly what's been uncovered let get straight into the clips and i'll save my thoughts for the back end guys so definitely stick around to the end so let's get my thoughts on the back end and also you to push this video out definitely stick around till the end you guys but let's get straight into the news before we do that though make sure you guys hit that like button for me and also hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey let's get into it y'all What's up guys, boy Benny? Let's say you owned a bar in a college town and you had security. Most bars typically have security to check IDs and places like that, make sure there's no shenanigans or hooligans going in and messing things up. There was a loud noise and your security did this. Your security crouched down their pants and looked like they were ready to run the other direction. Certainly not defend you, the patrons of your bar or anything. You'd be like, well, in my dive bar, in the crummy college town, I'm gonna fire that security. I'm gonna I'm gonna not use that security because they've clearly failed at their job. Now, let's say that this wasn't some crummy bar, but the president of the United States, where the Secret Service agent was crouching down, hiding, literally using the body of President Trump to hide behind so that the bullets would hit President Trump and not her. Yeah, this is the single most despicable act I've seen. This is why I posted this, the absolute humiliation of these female Secret Service agents. Look at the disorder. They can't holster their weapons, gear falling to the ground, erratic, fearful movements, no show of force or composure. DEI, Secret Service, puts presidents' lives at risk. Check out this image. Look, look just, just train your eyes on these women and how they can't holster their weapon. They're moving in such erratic, crazed fashion. Their gear, again, is falling to the ground. They look scared and totally unprofessional. And by the way, uh, unhealthy, short women should not be guarding the life of probably the biggest target on Earth, which is President Trump. President Trump has the biggest footprint on Earth as a target. Now, these are obviously things that we've already covered. But what you'll notice is that when Donald Trump made his grand reappearance this week in Milwaukee, where we are right now, that his entire Secret Service detail was male. And the, uh, let's just say the physiognomy of these guys was, uh, I'm six foot five. <laughs> with me look at the guys guarding trump now you can obviously see where trump is uh get a load of the new secret service around trump notice a difference wow that's pretty shocking that's quite remarkable uh i don't see any more uh short uh profoundly unhealthy women around president trump anymore this is why posts like this go viral uh, Secret Service agents before DEI is like the this is, is like what a presidential sniper team should look like. Okay, this was a this was a photo of a dude on Trump. This is actually a photo of a dude when Donald Trump walked out and held up the Bible during. So this is a White House. This is a Secret Service White House sniper. Okay, and see if you can spot the difference right here. I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it to the comment section to spot the difference. Also, you know what? You can you can quite frankly spot the difference um, in the White House, you know, in the in the White House sniper, like the difference between this these guys and the other sniper I just showed you. And so, if you're noticing these differences, you'd be right because we have breaking news right now. These uh, these Secret Service agents that were flanking Donald Trump and these embarrassing Melissa McCarthy. Uh, fake agents are exactly that. Many people are saying, how could how could this person be in the Secret Service, right? Again, you wouldn't trust her to guard your college bar. You wouldn't trust her to guard your dive bar. Well, it turns out that based on news that broke literally seconds ago here, whistleblowers are coming forward saying that uh, Melissa McCarthy, as we will lo lovingly call her, 
and this this gaggle of dingbats um, that these people aren't actually Secret Service agents. Oh yeah, you now now Benny, you might say, isn't President Trump the president? Like, isn't he president? Right? He's President Trump, and he's, I mean, based on the way things are going, he is the presumptive president, right? The future president in waiting. Shouldn't he get the best of the best? And we have a big country. We have like 350 million people in this country. So aren't there like a ton of people that would probably be qualified in this nation to guard President Trump? Uh, yeah, there are. But according to Josh Hawley here, and let's read the tweet real fast, uh, Trump's security detail working the event on Saturday were not even Secret Service. DHS assigned unprepared and inexperienced personnel to get Trump killed. I'll say it. I'll say it. Secretary Mayorkas, of course, who stands to be criminally prosecuted if President Trump becomes president again, right? Which he will. And every other assassination attempt, political assassination, legal assassination, they all failed, right? Character assassination. So Secretary Mayorkas almost begged for this to happen by putting inexperienced agents, on, not even agents, literally people who are not Secret Service, on president to guard president trump's team let's read uh secretary Merrick has a right to raise concerns about the whistleblowers your department's stunning failure to protect president trump homeland security you're ultimately responsible for the agency components secret service that's right a lot of people focusing on kimberly cheadle but you're missing the actual real demon here which is secretary mayorkas who of course you well know we call him Gollum because he looks just like Gollum. whistleblowers have direct knowledge of this event approached my office according to the allegations july 13th rally was considered to be a loose security event for example a direction Canines were not used to monitor entry, detection canines, sorry about that, uh, detect threats in an unusual manner. Individuals without proper designations were able to gain access to the backstage areas. Department personnel did not appropriate, appropriate police security buffer around the podium, and they were not stationed at regular intervals around the security perimeter. In addition, whistleblower allegations suggest that the majority of DHS officials were not, in fact, Secret Service agents, but instead drawn from the Department of Homeland Security's investigations unit. This is especially concerning, given, given that the these agents are unfamiliar with standard protocols typically used in these types of events, according to the allegation. As a member of the Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee, which has oversight and jurisdiction over your department, I will continue to investigate this part of a staggering security failure. Uh, oh, okay. So it turns out that they staffed Trump at the at the event where Trump uh, <laughs> at the event where they let a rooftop open and let a, uh, a an assassin literally crawl towards Trump and then fire off seven shots. They effectively put on not the B team, not the C team, not the E team, the freaking Z team, like the, not even a letter in the alphabet for this team. Look at this, the humiliation here. Look at the whole string. You want to know why? You want to know why they behave like this? You know why? Like this, <laughs> doesn't it make more sense that this is actually some Department of Homeland investigate investigator? who does paperwork all day, doesn't that make more sense? Yes, it does. This whole thing has just been blown wide open. They put a bunch of uh, uh, dumb who are not familiar at all with the, with the protocols of the Secret Service and are not physically capable of protecting President Trump. And I mean literally not physically capable of protecting President Trump. Right. So it's like you look at you look at every failure like this one. This is a great example. OK, I don't know this lady and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to come at her. OK, like for anything. All right. And I'm not, the last thing I'm trying to do here is like um, not be fair uh, to people. So let's just be totally and completely fair. All right. I'm not going to question this woman's motivations or intentions. All right. Or, or the quality of her work. OK. G given the fact that she has physical limitations. And what are those physical limitations? Physical limitations are that she can't protect Trump in a live fire situation because President Trump is two feet taller than her. This is a matter of fact, okay? I know you hate biological fact, but this is a matter of biological fact. This woman is incapable of guarding President Trump's body because she can't cover him. 
That's it. Okay. So why the hell is she there in a live fire situation? You'll notice the distinct difference between the professional agents. Um, and of course I asked, of course I asked this question and it went, this went thermonuclear viral. You'll notice the distinct difference between the professional looking agents and agents like this. And now it turns out, according to Josh Hawley, that these people were not experienced and they were not even secret service agents. DHS assigned unprepared and inexperienced personnel. Was this intended to get Trump killed? Of course it was. I'm sorry. I, I'll say it. And I, it's time to start talking truth. The reality is that if you add up enough incompetence, is, is malice. Okay? So enough negligence added up. Like, like if you add up, I don't really care because I'm not a mind reader, all right? I don't care what your soul says or what your mind was thinking. If you add up enough incompetence or negligence, it eventually adds to malice, period. Okay? I don't have to, I don't have to read your soul to know that. So they were putting incompetent people on to protect Donald Trump. And what did it lead to? It led to Trump getting shot in the head. According to all available video, the assassination attempt, Secret Service had eyes on the target for minutes. Now we're learning for hours on end. And they let this assassin crawl into position and fire on Trump. Somebody gave the stand down orders. Who was it? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, tell me if you can see the difference. Tell me if you can see the difference, okay, between that sniper and this sniper. Even the gear, even just the gear, even, even like the kit that he's carrying. Tell me if you can see the difference. Yeah, that, that guy's not a Secret Service sniper. That's the difference. This whole thing was just blown wide open. Okay, so stay tuned. We're going to stay on this story. The RNC convention is now over. Of course, we've been at the RNC convention asking a lot of questions about this. We're going to stay on this story. This is the channel for truth. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya. Yo, there we have it, guys. Coming from our friend, Benny Johnson. I'll definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below. For those who want to go over there and check that out. Also, guys, go over there and show our friend Benny a bit of love. Oh, my goodness, guys. Things are getting just that much clearer. We can see the bigger picture of what was actually supposed to happen that day. This was all looking to be orchestrated by the fact that there was just so much negligence. These new details that we're getting on the Department of Homeland Security's negligence during that rally. I mean, it just points all the fingers, all the signs are pointing towards they wanted something very, you know, very dark to happen. Um, just the fact that they would employ all these desk jockeys, guys, a bunch of investigation teams, personnel to protect, watch over Donald Trump. They were very inexperienced, um, you know, ignorant on the fact that they had to cover all the angles. I mean, apparently, which just leads us to believe that, you know, this was no accident or, you know, just a freak happening. I mean, come on, guys. There is just no way that there was that many freak accidents or occurrences um, on that day that allowed him to be a you know, rooftop access with a front row, front row view. Um, I, I just refuse to believe that. I know you guys are sitting in your seats right now too. Like, hey, Retro, we're not buying it. It's total baloney. It's bogus. Um, you know, there was someone that was behind this. This was a sinister deed. Um, and I'm excited for more details to be, you know, uh, uncovered. We've got the Department of Homeland Security now in that hot seat as new evidence has surfaced that they've employed some investigation team to you know, watch over Donald Trump during that day. These guys should have never been on security detail. They're not secret service whatsoever, but somehow they were supposed to perform um, and do their job of secret service on that day. Guys, definitely hop in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. We've got the Department of Homeland Security in the hot seat. Let me know your thoughts, maybe details that you guys have discovered um, or key facts of evidence that could lead us to the truth of what happened on that day, who was behind um, it all, you know, all the madness. Guys, definitely hop in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you guys hit that share button. Share this out to as many Facebook friends as possible. You guys, share the truth. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button. Doesn't cost you one thing. You guys hit that like button for your boy. And also hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. I'll catch you guys on the next week. Yeah.